Welcome back to The Realist Channel on YouTube and today's a very interesting video. Okay, it's the first time on my channel I'm interviewing a legend. It's a British boxing legend. Yeah, and his name is Frank Bruno. Um, how did this come about? It's through Sky and Sky documentaries. Bruno versus Tyson is the new documentary that's out today, it's out now, but this interview with Frank Bruno is linked to that. So you may have seen on my socials that I have um, posts that represent two sides of the same coin, meaning that as an athlete, there is two sides of us. There's the prep side and there's the performance side. There's a side that grinds in the gym and there's a side where your hand is raised as a result of your hard work. Two sides of the same coin is also supposed to represent two people from completely different places, but they have a very similar background. And this is what Frank Bruno and Mike Tyson show in their documentary and Sky portray and show very well in their documentary is that it's two guys from two completely different places that can meet in the middle of the ring to fight and cross paths. And it's a very interesting concept, something that I was ultra willing to get involved with and interviewing Frank Bruno was a bonus as a part of working with uh, Sky and Sky Documentaries. So we sit down, we chop it up, we talk honestly, and I'm not even gonna say too much. I want you guys to enjoy the interview, but make sure you go and check out that documentary now. Tell me what you think in the comments as well about the documentary across my socials. You'll see my post, you'll see me talking about it. So make sure that you hit me up and share how you feel and if the message has been portrayed in the way that I've explained today. But let's get into the interview. Let's not waffle. Well, what weight was you? I'm a, I'm a cruiserweight. I'm a cruiserweight. Okay, wicked. What professional yeah. was you? I'm, pre I'm still, I'm, I'm a currently a pro. Yeah, I'm currently a professional. Who with? I'm signed to Mayweather Promotion, so I'm based in the US. Okay, wicked. Sure, thank you. Yeah. So a bit wicked. different. Cruiserweight. Something. Yeah, yeah. It's a very exciting way at the moment, isn't it? It is. It's definitely not known to be one of the most exciting weights, but now... But it's well, lively enough because I see a, one guy box the other day. Um, yeah. His name, African guy. Um, he knocked out the guy in two rounds or one round, but the punch that he brought the guy, the guy was break dancing. Right <laughs> hand caught him. <laughs> no, it's, just, it's definitely becoming a more, more exciting division. Yeah. And, and the heavyweights are getting too big now for us, so... We have to stay where we yeah. are, you know. You you get me right. Is it fourteen four? Um, cruise away. Yeah. Was it thirteen thirteen? Fourteen four now. Fourteen four. Okay, it's wicked. Yeah. So. So what what is your aim to be a champion? Oh, of course, of course, of course. Okay. It's not. It's wicked. not. Uh, it's not. I, I see. I think a lot of people these days rush their way through to to the Never highest. rush, man. No. Never yeah. rush. And Mayweather people must be looking after you neatly. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm in good hands. I'm in good hands. So it's, it's just a matter of doing my side. And I know on their side, they're covering everything. So I can just Did focus on... Did you have amateur experience? Yeah, I had um, 55 amateur fights. 55 fights? Yeah. So I had 55 amateur fights. I won eight national titles as well. So... ABA? Not senior ABA. That's the one that's okay. missing. That's the... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one that gets to me. But... <laughs> How old are you? 23, 23. 23, a puppy, man. Yeah. I mean, so... all this following. How come you got all this following? Oh, man, I fell into the hands of the right people. <laughs> Where did they come from? Tesco <laughs> or Primark? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you know, I'm just, it was just a thing. Bless. I'm blessed to be in a position where I have boxing knowledge and the people that wanted the boxing knowledge had a yeah. tremendous following already so between me just giving them what i already know and them sharing it to the world i've managed to develop a good little brand so yeah where's your roots from sir if you don't mind me asking mom so and dad. my my dad is from jamaica and my is mom oh, yeah my mom is half Ghanaian and half antiguan so that's antiguan yeah most yeah. people this place I, I, i've got my honeymoon antigua yeah, so there's Morris a Hope from Antigua as well. Yep. Morris yep. Hope. 
He said, yeah. I know him, I know him, not of him, yeah, not know him personally. Yeah, but... good gene do you have then? <laughs> so, <laughs> I know, you're, you're putting pressure on me now, you're putting pressure no, on no, me. No, 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 good genes, man. <laughs> Especially Jamaican. If you know, have you been to Jamaica before? Not yet. That is on my list. It's on my yeah. list. It is on my list. I travelled a lot of places through boxing, but Jamaica never fell under that. You got to go there, yeah. man, to just soak up the, the weather and just see the vibes around. It's good educational to go there. Yeah, but I love went travelling. Down the ride like a baby. Uh, I know the poverty over there is not great. I know yeah. there's not a lot. You know, the things that you see on TV and the reality of it would be different, but. You I know. still want to see it. It's my heritage. It's my roots. So, and yeah. if you see it, you'll soak it up. You won't need to talk. You just have to look. Experience. And it might make you cry. You know what I mean? But it's, you have to if you've got that in there. You know what I mean? But, no, but I'll be, still, I'll, it's I'll not be my ready show. It's your show. And I'm yeah. asking you all these questions you're telling me to shut up to. But no, no, I'm no. That's good. Quiet. That's good. That's good. We need we need that anyway. We need a little intro. But I've got a few. Okay. I do have a few questions for you, no problem. Um, we yeah. haven't got too long. So I'm going to jump in immediately with some boxing questions, right? Right. Um, who is your, who's the quickest person you've ever fought? So you got in there and you just thought, wow, this speed is different to the video. I think Pierre Kutsia. There's got okay. two Kutsia, Jerry Kutsia and Pierre Kutsia, the second guy that I fought. He used yeah. to train in a high altitude. He was super thick with the rucksack and boots. And mm. he was quick. And I I was, I think, about 17 and a half stone because my trainer knew that he'd be coming on to me, like his work rate would be, because I had to lead him down. So he had quick arms, hands, and he was a very, very tough, tough guy, tougher than he looked on television. See that, and I find that as a fighter as well, no matter how much film you're watching, no matter how much sparring you have, until you're in there with that person that you're fighting, those first few rounds is so different. Very, very chess game. And it's, it's the first two rounds, what could tell you that you can work it out, how you, yeah. you're going to get this and break the opponent down, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think James Gutierrez was fast. Mike yeah. Tyson was fast. <laughs> as you expect, yeah. Smith was very, very fast if he connected. And when he connected, he, he had lion strength. But <laughs> Oliver McCall was very, very tough. He'd been yeah. more tough than he looked, you know what I mean? But he, when he you get could... a nickname, like, go on. Yeah, I think, because Oliver McCall was Tyson's sparring partner for how many years? So he must have been tough. Oh. Yeah, he yeah, McCall very, very tough. Yeah. And he beat Larry Holmes as well. But he yeah. was, like, kept out. He, people didn't want to. He weren't, didn't put bums on seats. He didn't have the charisma of a Mike Tyson, but tough wise, he was very, very in Larry Holmes's not later days, but he was yeah. still up there, you know. No, it's, it's it's interesting hearing this from you firsthand because we all can come to our own assumptions by watching something. But yeah. again, the answer you gave me wasn't what I expected to hear, so that's why I like doing these things. It offers a different education. You know, Everybody yeah. drops it differently, right? And what would you say, we said the quickest, who would you say is the hardest punching? Who, pound for pound, they hit Whoa. you with one shot and you're like, oof. It's so confusing because I fought a guy called John Cummings. Okay. And in the first round, at the end of the first round, he hit me one punch on my temple. I didn't know where I was, so I was gone. I was on my foot, like, break dancing, like Thunderbirds go. You know, like, <laughs> Thunderbirds. <laughs> <laughs> Thunderbirds, I know. Was just start walking one leg was walking the other way and yeah. the other one was walking away from me you know but oh. yeah one punch i've got to go for jumbo cummings but it wow. don't mean that bound crusher smith hit me with some serious punches you know yeah two yeah. women's you know, i went in there with two heads one head and come out there with two heads puffed out you know what i mean mike tyson <laughs> hit me hard so all of them it's, it's a it's a very strange thing all of them mm -hmm. hurt but, different but i ways, remember right? like no. sorry like, do all the punches will hurt, but they will have that different effects and different oh, ways. They will... God, when you run out of steam and someone's on you like a, a 16th down free man that can punch down that bone crusher, you don't get that word in from Tesco's or Primark. You've got to right. work hard to the, get the bone atomic pressure. bull. And I'm sure Mr. Mayweather has got a nickname for you. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. That's one thing people always say to me. They say, You don't have a a nickname, you don't have a fighting nickname. But I think because my name is different, 
I don't have a common yeah. name. I'm kind of happy just having my name right now. And if if one yeah, naturally, yeah, yeah, yeah. if it naturally clicks, then I'll take it. But I'm not gonna force it. You know, I'm not gonna force. Very it. Very young, very wise, very very constructive guy. Your, your brain is running. You're thinking Thank more you. than that. Thank you. You know, I, I give that to the parents. I shout them out quickly. I yeah, give a shout, give a shout out to them. <laughs> well, <that's... laughs> um, mm. we'll go to our next question. Right, any dream fights you wish you had? There's any fights out there you're like, you know what? I had a great career. I fought the best people anyway, but there is one I wish I could do again, or there was someone I didn't cross paths with. All the five people that beat me, I would like to return with them. Love that. I'm my agent that, but I'm telling you that. But yeah. if you play this, they're going to start sending the doctors around for me thinking that I'm going crazy. You ask me a question, so I'm trying to deliver the question as yeah. far as it can be. When nice. I lost, I was very, very inexperienced. I didn't have 21 amateur fights. Mm -hmm. I won 20, got my revenge on the amateur fights. I went into the professional game. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was very determined, very, very strong. Didn't have yeah. no style or fashion or whatever. I ain't going to sit here like I was a sweet as Sugar Ray Leonard or whatever, but I could, you know I mean, going to training camp and take it very, very serious and get very, very fit. But mm -hmm. as the time, as my age got on, I got more better, you know what I mean, than yeah. know how to, like you're in Mayweather's gym, you can get all lyrics of all the fighters who come in there because they're trying to be like Mayweather and they're yeah. top of their game. When right. you're going there with them, they ain't going to play no Tiddly wings through it. They want, and since they know yeah, that you come from England, they're trying to knock it, off your head. Exactly. That does make it a, a, a bit worse. It doesn't have a target on me. You know, they're seeing, they know I'm from the UK, so it's kind of like they don't want to be shown up by that guy that's from yeah, over there. And it's good you for know? you. It's good for you mentally and physically to be in that environment. That it would be too good for you as you move on. I think Christopher Eubanks, his son, there, yeah? Yeah, he's he's out there as well. He is out there. I've he's out there, and you can't get no better place. He's a serious guy. How much money he's made and what he's done or whatever. Some people he might ignore saying he's flesh, but he's mm. done well. He's dyslexic, and God bless him. He's putting a lot of he, his money, where's you know what I mean, to invest in youngsters like yourself. Yeah, no, that Chris Newman Jr. is a great example of so someone who is. When, you, when your dad is who your dad is, it's such big shoes to fill. But if he was anybody else, he would get the credit he deserves because he wouldn't have that attached to him, that comparison. That yeah, he works comparison. hard at what he does. He's a very, very he serious does. guy. You don't he check does. too much, but you know what I mean? Is he, he's not in the cruiserweight. He's in the no, super he's, middleweight. No, he's lighter. Yeah, he's like a super middleweight. Yeah, I think yeah, he might yeah. even went, he went... I think he went down one more to middleweight now. I think he's... Is he? That middle, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. We're going to give you one of these questions and then we're going to go into a little bit more of a in-depth question. We're no problem. A, bit, a little bit serious, but this is the no last problem. light one. Um, no problem. Are you up to date at all with the YouTube boxing scene? So do you know anything about this? No, I'm not up to date at all. You know, someone's asked me about okay. a, a boxer or the record was out. I'm very old school. I'm mm -hmm. a frustrated DJ, but I don't know what's out. But some of the truths sound good. But I don't like that <laughs> N word what they keep on mentioning. You know what I mean? I'm more better. No, yes, if you know what I mean, Harry. <laughs> but the, thing, the thing is, so how it kind of links to what you were saying about how I managed to develop all this following. So yeah. there's, a, there's a ton of guys out there with millions of subscribers, right? Yeah. Millions but of you must be special to have all that. Oh, well, I'm going to let you say that. I'm going to let you yeah, say that. You know, they ain't going to give you to no mugs, are they? You must have some lyrics and the people that respect you and you must be pulling them in. So you must have a, a talent. You know what I mean? Let alone you sound very fresh, very educated <laughs> and very, very smart. But Look at this. It's you know, flattering me. It you're flattering me. Sorry? You're flattering I'm me. I'm telling the truth, sir. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> no, I appreciate you. Yeah. I appreciate you. It's just, so I'm, I've been boxing since I was two years old. I went to the gym yeah. the, the first time at six years old. I've been boxing all these years thinking that I was going to go to the Olympics in 2020. So I planned on going to the Tokyo Olympics in 2020. In between the Rio Olympics in 2016 and Tokyo 2020, I met a guy, my friend, now friend, KSI, who has 20 million subscribers 
on YouTube. Okay. Good luck to him. 20 million plus, I should say. So. Yeah. And he said, I want to have a boxing match. He's like, I want to have a boxing match and I want you to train me. And I've never coached before in my life. I've never given yeah. any coaching to anyone. I just tried to pass on what I do. And yeah. he ended up winning his first fight. And from there, people just believed I was this Emmanuel steward of training novice boxers. And, yeah. it, and it kind of grew from there. Good luck. Good yeah. Luck, man. So just so you just so you have a little backdrop on. Think, yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah. Mm. Have you but, got um, re respond to them every day? Well, no, you don't. I do try, but it's it's a bit much. Oh yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit much. I don't want people. I'm dyslexic, so I I can't do all that fancy stuff. But it must be nice, and you can go to bed and say you got that million people. You know what I mean? You could press a button. Yeah, yeah you know? it is. It is nice, and I do take the responsibility seriously. I do feel like what I do, what I say, how I behave. It, it, a lot of people do see it, so you do have to yeah. be. You have to be very conscious on what you want the audience to to develop from watching your videos. You know. Okay. So, like videos like this, I love doing videos like this because it's a, you, you're educating people. Yeah. You know, they, they can watch this and learn something. It's not just funny jokes and games all the time. You right. Know? But um, that will take us into our next question. To get something a little bit more serious, right? So how tough was it to make it to the level you were with what was going on in your life at the time? Because... It was very, very tough. Mm. I watched a little bit of the documentary. It all comes flooding back especially with the Tyson fight. First, it was supposed to be at Wembley, 90,000 people, Mickey Duff and Mike Barrett, whatever, got a briefcase full of money, so they changed it to um, Las Vegas. The fight was yeah. postponed about six, borderline seven times, with wow. Mike Tyson crashing his top car, trying to commit suicide and whatever. The fight went over to Vegas, four months into training camp, the fight got postponed again. The fight got back into training. I'm not making no excuse, but it was messy. You know what I mean? Yeah. So at the end of the day, the, the better man won, but I would have loved it to be on home territory with that little boost, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, and, and I think a lot of people uh, don't give the, the credit to you that you deserve, especially when you're, if you're unaware of the backstory. Because it's easy, it's yeah. it's easy to look at it's easy to look at a fight and judge someone based on that fight. But there's so much that goes into boxing before you even step under the lights. And if there's a few boxes and a few things that are just out of place, it will it, it will affect you on that day. It, when you go to America, you got to drop it a little bit the way the Americans drop it. You got to try. They like to showboat and be boasty yeah, and flashy, yeah. and they're coming down the road. But you could just humble yourself and keep away from that there's much more better ways to, if you make money chuck it on the floor to people or whatever you've got to drop it a little bit more differently but i suppose i'm not too sure what he's trying to prove or whatever but he's done it and he could do what exactly what he wants to do but to chuck money on the floor i think you need to just drop it a little bit <laughs> it's not for everyone it's not for everybody it's not really my yeah. it's not it's not my thing you know i know i I wasn't born rich or anything. Everything I've had to grind and work for. So I feel like I hold more value uh, to, the, to those things than maybe yeah. someone else. But if you feel like that satisfies your soul, then who can tell you not to, not true, to do true, it? True, true, you know? true, true. I'm not, same not time. saying not to do it, but it, years to come, when you look at them things, you, 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 know, you might regret it. There's lots of boxes that made a lot of money, Holyfield, Tyson, and et cetera, et cetera. And they, they have to come back now. It's not yeah. they want to come back. They have to come back. You know what I mean? Of the, the, the high money standard that they've been used to. But, you know what I mean? It comes in roundabouts. That's how, if you don't look after yourself, if you don't look after your, your, your pennies, mm. things will go, you know? This, this next question is not even a planned question, but it's something that just sprang to mind based off what you said. Yeah. Do you, how hard do you think it is for fighters to let go of the fact that they're stars 
and they're admired when they're in their prime. How hard is it to let that go and realize that there is going to be someone after you and you won't always be the main center of attention? Do you know when I was boxing, you had Larry Holmes, Jerry Cooney, um, borderline Henry Cooper, Joe Bugner, Joe Frazier, um, mm -hmm. Greg Page, um, Pinklin Thomas, Mike Weaver, Mike Tyson, um, um, Gary Mason. I could lick off lyrics to you and you drop the beat of all them guys that were about. There's so okay. many guys to pick from. But now it's just a little bit more gentler, not as what in my day. I'm not yeah. showing off to anybody today. God no, it's a fact. It's whatever a fact. you do, you know what I mean? And good luck to you. But in, my, in, in the days of the 70s, 80s, 90s, borderline 200, there were some serious guys around. And I, I've, I've missed about 20 more of them. I'm talking about heavyweights. Isn't it? it the amount of names you just you just gave me is hard to even try and do that today. But and, and yeah. a lot of people is a lot of people, you know, they get e easily offended or get very touchy. But at the end of the day, boxing in the 70s, 80s, 90s was harder than the present day. That doesn't mean present day is easy, but this is my yeah. personal personal opinion. Right. You the, the guys, there was a lot less choice back then on what you could pick and choose to do to get your way out of wherever you were yeah you know now nowadays there's so many things you can say you know i want to do youtube i want to do this i want to do that but at that time then the options were a lot more limited so i think a lot more people would put the effort and dedication into being great boxers yeah you know um so no that's you've I got guess. An opportunity yeah you? you've got the right right opportunity you know in the mayweather camp because they, they don't smart easily there do they no you know no it's I'm not sure. they're not into they're not they don't compliment fish for swimming put it that way <laughs> 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 i like that one we can, that's in my bag yeah. that one <laughs> <laughs> so that oh, you only can you know but i'm used to that anyway because my dad taught me how to box and he kind of has that same mentality it's kind of like get this done this is what needs to be done you get the odd compliment yeah. now and again but it keeps you on a path of okay oh, school, gotta get better yeah 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 so it does work out you don't well, have the last turn on yet so you can't praise you, you got to <laughs> no. to keep you Listen, when i retire i think you will shower me with the compliments but for now it's on to the next. Keeping on to you the in the toes. On to the next, yeah. yeah it's it's excellent it. though, you know, I'm used to it. So. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Right, so we know we're in a difficult time right now. We know life has changed for us all very dramatically, right? Very dramatically. And a byproduct of that has been, you know, unfortunately, many deaths from COVID. A lot of people are sick from COVID and we've had to have a lockdown to help prevent these things from happening. How has lockdown affected you present day mentally? And what have you, what have you learned during this period of, you know, isolation? My deepest sympathies go out for most of the people that have lost mm -hmm. their life through this yeah, weird right. and nasty and evil um, thing what's around. It's been, I've got to know myself a little bit more better because I've got three punch bags up I got okay, a running okay. machine, a rower, and I try and look after myself. I was out at there about five this morning. I've got a little gym and a, a studio, a music studio, soundproof. So oh, I'm nice. out there every single day. But it's, you get to know yourself a little bit more better because when they say that you're not allowed out on the street, mm. it makes you just want to stay in because you don't want to cause no confusion. But I just, it's a wicked thing. But, you know what I mean? I don't know. They say they've got this, the, 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 the injection that they can do it, but mm. you know, I just want to wait a little bit to see how it's going to come out. But it's just evil. It's ruthless. and It's not just around the corner. It's around the world. It is. And it is one of those things that no one could have ever predicted it. No one. Look how many generations of people have lived since the last pandemic. And it just happened to fall when we're here on the planet is crazy. It's going to be something My differently. daughter had it. My, my granddaughter had it. My son had it. His mum had it. But they had f light. Light. Okay, they had light. Light. You know, light. But, you know what I mean? I don't know. I had pneumonia about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was going to go then. 
but they say once you can get that high, high, is on yeah. high grade in the, 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 it's just an evil thing, man. No, no, but it's evil. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. Obviously, we're completely uh, separate generations, completely different stage of life. But the fact yeah. that the, lo the lockdown, I can relate to you in the way of learning more about yourself. I think I've learned more about myself in the last in the last year. So 2020, I think I learned so much about myself yeah. just based on having limited distractions. You know, yeah. when yeah. when you. Yeah. When you when everything's flowing how it normally flows, you go out here with your mates here, you've got this going on, you've got that going on. You're not really going to self-reflect. You're not going to prioritise yeah. the time to, to reflect on yourself. And, and last year, there's so many things. I was like, you know what? I could work on this more. I could do this more. You just learn how to adapt to your situation. Baby That's steps, cool. man. Baby steps. Everything yeah. is, uh, you know I mean? You've got to make it right, but take your time, man. You're not in a rush. You're a young man, and you seem like a very strong one out there mentally and physically. You. Take Thank your time, you. man. But if, if you're going to throw a jab, make sure it's crisp. If you're going to throw an uppercut, you've got to make sure it's right. So you can just do it with your eyes shut. You can do it in bed. The man could be right beside you. You just group naturally. I'm sure yes. Baywood will teach all about keep repetition, rolling things repetition. over. Yeah. Don't rush yourself. You know when you're right. And the cruiser way, you've got to be on point. Yeah, it's, it's the. You know, it's a heavy division. The, any any punch can switch you off at any time. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. That's mm. it's nice the way you're dropping it, going through the Mayweather channel and being in, in that fraternity and them ego boys. The Americans when they come out, they drop it differently. You know what I mean? Low chains and coats <laughs> and dance skin shoes. And, oh, you're gonna you see me on it. We'll get another interview in a year's time. You're gonna see me with. Seven chains, <laughs> seven chains on with the gold Frank. teeth as well. Yeah, Frank's gonna like, what yeah. happened? What happened? I think <laughs> <he's>... <laughs> all, all of these fighters are trying to do entertainment and to wear the fancy shorts and yeah, to, it's, to, it's to, you to know what, this boxing, what they got. It is entertainment. Boxing is entertainment, and they are good at putting on a show. Maybe not the way we would like to do it, but yeah. they they know how their audience is attracted to to their brand. And their fights. So one of the nicest things I bought, I built myself an indoor studio because I'm a frustrated DJ. I yeah. just opened the door and just the music in the background and the bags outside the door of the music yeah. room. So you could play your Bashman, you could play your Lovers Rock, you could play Funky House from Mary Poppins or something like that. You know what I mean? It's a no way, it's nicer feel. The way you're it's living, when, when lockdown's over, you're still gonna be there. I love training, you know what I mean? And sometimes I, I, I train too much, but I'd rather train too much than not train at all. But I'm yeah. frustrated that when I see a boxer like yourself and all boxers are coming through and to mm -hmm. see how you're dropping it, taking the American route. Okay. When I was 18, I, I was sent to America to do go around all the, the gyms around Chicago, Los Angeles, Miami, um, Vegas, um, Tampa, California, oh, Chicago. Wow. I had to go and I met up with Mike Tyson when I was, what, 18, 19. So I learned wow. this, you know, yeah. what you are doing, I had to do it in a short space of time in about three months. We went all over the gyms. The, in Gleason's, up in the Catskill Mountains, Gleason, they used to have yeah. a place called Gleason's Old School training camp they used to hold it up there you know what i mean but i went up there the higher altitude and met mike tyson so that is it was an educational block for me the same way you're 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 doing it so i had to do it in a short space of time and and that is tough that is tough oh. whoa i to met some least... guys out there some dudes that just got out of prison that's fearless they just scared me the way they used to talk you know what i mean but and America drops it differently. You know, another thing that I feel not a lot of people are privy to is when you go to these gyms, there's always a guy in there. There's always a few guys in there that you know of. And then there's a guy in there that's really dangerous and he might not yeah. even make, make it to the public eye. But yeah. when you went to that gym, he was actually the guy you remember, not the names that the whole world 
yeah. are aware of. Some serious guys go there. Yeah. They're guys that, you know what I mean, they're off the street hustlers or whatever, but American, they, they don't mess around the American. And then once they heard you speak, they probably looked at you like, this is it. This is our time to, to attack the guy from the UK. <laughs> seriously, and some of them would attack you, you know? You know <laughs> seriously, they, they, when we're over there, they call me an English bum and whatever. Oh, yeah, you know, they they like doing that. That. Words, are, words are cheap, you know what I mean? As long as they don't touch me, but I don't really want to argue with them because you never know what, what's going to come out there. Yeah. yeah, so fast. Words is very, very gentle, isn't it? Very, anybody can call you whatever. It's good, no, but you have to have a, you even have to have a strong shield around you to not let words affect you also, because sometimes they can hold a little bit of weight. There's some some spiteful people out there, but yeah, you know. sometimes in life, as long as you, leave, you don't you don't put no fuel to the fire, let them right. talk. Talk is very cheap, as long as they don't touch you or nothing like that. Names and let all, it go. All, all, yeah, it. let it go. I've got one more question for you, Frank. No one problem. more question. Who would you like to fight out of the present day fighters? It can be any weight. I'm not saying it doesn't have to be a heavyweight, but just someone that you look at and you're like, oh, I just, if I could just click my fingers and step in the ring with that guy, I would love to have a battle with him. Who out of the present day fighters is on your list? I've got to be very careful because some people may say I'm going mad. Tyson Fury, I've been asking for an exhibition fight with him. Once okay. he's settled down, that is one thing. He's helped the Frank Bruno Foundation and mm -hmm. God bless him or whatever. But I think Anthony Joshua, you know what I mean? Because I think you asked me a question and I'm going yeah. to just keep it short because I don't want to put no fuel to any fight. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that he's going a little bit crazy and not even understanding the, the, the question. The context. The con yeah. Tyson Fury at exhibition and um, Anthony Joshua at exhibition as well. Once they settle yes. down, once all the confusion set, I'm an old man that mm -hmm. trains mainly every single day. So I, I have nothing better to do with my time than train. I, 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 don't, you. I usually go up and down the country, come home three o'clock in the morning after a job. The next morning I've got to train, look after the house and whatever and duck and die. But I've got nothing else to do but train. And I'm, I've got a gym mm -hmm. opening in Northampton very shortly. No, oh, nice. And you know what I mean? I'm just trying to put my blessing and train people to help people who are suffering from mental health. Because mm -hmm. we're all suffering in some way or form. For sure. Whether you want to look in the mirror and be honest to yourself, especially with all this bug going around, not working and hard times. Some mm -hmm. people are starving out there now, you know what I mean? Mortgage, no, can't pay for the HP with the car, and people are in pain. So I just hope yeah. this year can be a much more better year than last year and some professor can come up with a, a good advice to not listen and, help and just say the record's murdering. Yeah, yeah, get back to reality around did, the world. I did say last question, but I, I lied. You can be, listen, yeah. you can keep me waiting because I love talking Got. to you, so you can be, just, just relax <laughs> that, yourself. Thank right? you, thank you. No, I'm, enjoy, I'm enjoying the conversation. Right, this, this question, is important. I want from someone, especially in your position, been yeah. going through what you've gone through and coming out the other side. What would you tell the people at home right now that are in lockdown, struggling? What would you tell them just to help them get that extra push? It's easy said than done if you're not yeah. doing that. I'm living being stuck indoors. You've got to try and get some sort of like fitness routine going on. Mm -hmm. try and, if you've got a dog or just go for longer walks and soak up the fresh air and just go with the flow, you know what I mean? Some, they say that people are dying like Skittles mm -hmm. out there all around the world. Like in some parts of England, they say 95 have died there. God bless all of them and their families. Condolences go out to them, but just look after yourself. Get to know yourself a little bit more better, but try and do some form of exercise, whether it's jumping in one spot, do some yoga, do some meditation, yeah. And just feel the, you know, I mean, I don't know what's happening about the world because every day you turn the television, it's painful. So I try and keep it's away from that. Yeah, and just shame. get to know yourself a little bit more. You have time in your hands. And just fitness is one of the key things that all these diseases don't really like, you know? So whatever way 
whatever floats your boat, regardless of fitness, get your heart pumping, watch what you eat, and stay positive and stay safe. There you go. I, can, I can't agree with you anymore. Like, I think fitness is a key element. And also, I'd say the two main things personally that I think would help is talking, sharing how you feel yeah. with others. God, you know that for real. For Share real. It's important. How you feel. Yeah. Get off don't, your plate, you know what I mean? Don't bottle it up and be You're not everybody's got some sort of sort of like pattern what's kicking off. Mm. Mm -hmm. Say that again. No, I was saying no, I was agreeing with you. I was agreeing with what you were saying. It's just, yeah. you know what I mean? Sometimes the talking is you can let it off. If you go to the barber shop, you get a haircut, you can drop something you and it, it, you yeah, go out there, yourself. you feel refreshed and different. You know what I mean? If you feel rough, you've not shaved and if you in the but sometimes it's good to feel like that. Be a bit rough. So when you shave and have a shower and then uh, you feel fresh. I feel like you know your friend mean, but, I feel like your friend indirects at me because I know I'm looking rough right now. No, I didn't <laughs> <laughs> You get your followers to beat me up. Me. <laughs> you get a ton of 16 year olds at your door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chucking stones at me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Frank, listen, it's been it's been a great interview. It's, actually, it's been a very, a very enlightening interview. Um, Thank you very much. And I enjoyed asking you the questions that I planned and even some that I didn't plan. I think we're better yeah. questions. It's just nothing is better than naturally flowing with something. So all I can and, do is best advice. It's very entertaining and very, very inspirational talking to you. And you are the young generation. All the best advice I can give to you. Train very, very hard. Don't burn yourself out. You know what I mean? Train, make yourself more tough and fit and hard. So when you're ready, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Give it a go. And you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I give it a go and I ain't got no one to complain to, against. I don't blame anybody. No, it's all in, yeah. in my court. But no, Frank, thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Respect, sir. Yeah. To the people, people watching at home, I hope you enjoyed the interview. Make sure you go and check out the documentary on Sky, Bruno and Tyson. It's a fight that you've seen, but not a story that you would have been privy to so make sure you go and check that out on sky and thank you very much for putting this interview together interview of a boxing legend that's my day made i can't say anymore now thank you thank you thank you thank you